World's Richest Family How Abu Dhabi's Royals Made Their Wealth Secretive Golf Family's $300 billion fortune is about more than oil. In a region where opulence is on full display, Sheikh Tanun bin Zayed Al Nayan keeps a low profile belying his importance. That doesn't stop the whispers about the Abu Dhabi Royal, who's also the top spymaster for the United Arab Emirates, that he's effectively in charge of large swathes of a family fortune that's bigger than any other in the world. With the UAE home to about 6% of the world's proven oil reserves and known for the concentration of money within royal families, it's no secret that the Al Nayans are rich. But investments in everything from Rihanna's lingerie line and big data to fast food and Elon Musk's SpaceX have propelled the wealth of the family to new heights. Their net worth now amounts to at least $300 billion, according to an analysis of their complex holdings by the Bloomberg Billionaires Index that included regulatory filings, real estate records and corporate disclosures. That's more than the $225 billion attributed to the Waltons, who have long been recognized as the world's richest family thanks to Walmart Inc.'s retail dominance. Pinning down the precise magnitude of royal wealth is difficult because lines separating family and state are often blurred. In the case of the Al Nayans, who have ruled the UAE since independence half a century ago, some assets are distinctly private, while others are intertwined with the government. Those clearly personal holdings mean their discernible wealth exceeds other Gulf clans, including the Saudi royal family. Sheikh Tanun, a black belt in jiu-jitsu, operates on both public and private sides. He's head of the Abu Dhabi Wealth Fund ADQ as well as the country's top lender First Abu Dhabi Bank. Among the family's personal holdings is an investment firm which has seen its value surge almost 28,000% over the past five years. International Holding Company is deemed too royal to fail by domestic investors familiar with the company, but too opaque for some international institutions to bet on. The Al Nayan's holdings include trophy assets like Manchester City Football Club, a dozen or so palaces including Chateau de Bailen north of Paris, and most of London's exclusive Berkeley Square. But the crux of the family's ascent lies with Royal Group, a sprawling web of companies that employs more than 27,000 people in fields from finance to robotics. Over the past two decades, it's grown from a relatively small operation to command assets worth close to $300 billion, according to people familiar with its operations, who ask not to be identified because the information is private. Investments in countries such as Turkey and Egypt often support efforts by his brother Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, the UAE's president known as MBZ, to extend the nation's clout. Sheikh Tanun and MBZ are part of a group of six brothers, known as the Barney Fatima. Before we go any further, if you like this video so far, please hit like and subscribe to our channel. Now back to the riches of Abu Dhabi royal family. They're all sons of UAE founder Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan from his third, and most prominent, wife. Sheikh Mansour, who serves as Deputy Prime Minister, Chairman of the Central Bank and Head of Federal Wealth Fund Emirates Investment Authority, is another key figure, but all contribute to building the family fortune. Royal Fortune The Al Nayans control a vast empire separate from state investment funds. Royal Group acts as a command center for Sheikh Tanun, said the people. In addition to investing in an array of companies, it flies in world-class chefs to cook for the family and hires their personal bodyguards, they said. The company is the most risk-tolerant of the major investment vehicles in Abu Dhabi, said Richard Clark, a former White House official and longtime advisor to MBZ. Entities that manage money on behalf of the Emirate like Mubadala Investment Company and Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, with more than $1.2 trillion in combined assets, operate more like traditional, stability-minded sovereign wealth funds. Sheikh Tanun's superyacht, the family owns at least three, including the world's largest, is a key point of call for people seeking to do business with the close-knit and elusive family, according to people familiar with the operations. Building a relationship is an important step, and Wall Street titans are eager to pay their respects. While Sheikh Tanun conducts shuttle diplomacy throughout the Middle East, he's delegated important responsibilities within his business empire to several trusted advisors. One of the key players is Sophia Abdelatif Lasky, a Moroccan-born financier who's worked with Sheikh Tanun for two decades. 
She is one of the few expats in Abu Dhabi to rise to such prominence. Some of Royal Group's investments have increased in value by staggering amounts in recent years. IHC, as international holding company is known, tops that list, outperforming any company globally worth more than $1 billion over the past five years, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. In the process, IHC, majority owned by Royal Group, has catapulted from a little-known investor focused on fish farming to become the UAE's most valuable listed company. It's worth more than blue chips such as McDonald's Corp, Nike Inc. and Blackstone Inc. But that size hasn't enticed international investors, some of whom privately expressed concerns about a lack of transparency. Like other companies listed on Abu Dhabi Securities Exchange, IHC's interim financial statements receive a review that's substantially less in scope than audits conducted under international standards, Ernst & Young reaffirmed in its latest report on the company's accounts. While Royal Group has been a sought-after client, most international banks have largely steered clear of doing deals with IHC over concerns about an inflated market value, people familiar with the discussions said. The company, which almost exclusively relies on local financing, trades at almost 18 times its book value, compared with a ratio of about 1.5 for Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway Inc. The investment firm's meteoric rise is emblematic of the growing might of the Al Nayans and Abu Dhabi. While Dubai long grabbed international attention, the oil-rich emirate cemented its status as the UAE's dominant player when it bailed out its flashy neighbor for $20 billion in the aftermath of the financial crisis. The Al Nayans have since added tourist destinations, including the Ferrari World Indoor Theme Park, a local outpost of Paris's Louvre Museum and a Formula One racetrack. The UAE, Saudi Arabia and Qatar are all pushing to diversify their economies before the fossil fuel era ends and are well positioned to take advantage of opportunities opening up, especially as the US and Europe face higher financing costs and China struggles with COVID. IHC embodies Abu Dhabi's global ambition. Chief Executive Officer Syed Basar Shueb said in an August interview that the company plans to invest billions of dollars in markets including Indonesia, Turkey and India, targeting sectors like food, infrastructure and healthcare. Like most countries in the developing world, investing and politics go hand in hand, and the Al Nayans have been active practitioners. Under MBZ, the UAE has flexed its foreign policy muscle more. The country-backed Libyan rebel general Khalifa Haftar joined the embargo of Qatar in 2017 and embroiled itself in the Saudi-Iran proxy war in Yemen. Yet recently, the UAE has pivoted toward de-escalation in the region, a stance that aligns with efforts to expand soft power by making deals. After Sheikh Tanoun met Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan last year, IHC bought a 50% stake in a Turkish renewable energy firm. It also invested almost $2 billion in three companies owned by Indian billionaire Adani after the country signed a trade deal, while ADQ snapped up stakes in key Egyptian companies to help shore up the battered economy. Group 42 might be the most direct link between business and power in Abu Dhabi. After the UAE and Israel normalized ties, the artificial intelligence company, chaired by Sheikh Tanoun, became the first Emirati firm to open an office there and has since done deals with state-owned Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please hit like and subscribe to our channel. We truly appreciate it.